Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> Kala Lili. That's right. Back in time. For uh, that was what you guys, a lot, a lot of you guys say to us. For us, this is brand new. Actually, we've never heard this. This is um, Kala Lili's Pan Samantala. Pasang Pansama Pan Samantala or Pasang Mantala. I don't know how to say Pasang Mantala. Pasang Mantala. I think it's Pasang Mantala. And um, it's on the Wish Bus. It's very popular. It got requested a little while ago and we hadn't had a chance to check it out. Um, so let's give it a watch. Wait, I, this has subtitles, so I'm just going to change the, the actual Ooh. font size so everyone can see it. So everyone what? can see it. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. How exciting. I love Kala Lili. I listen to a lot of their music. <laughs> The speaker's right here, my head. Sorry. Okay. It's a vibe. Very good set of atmosphere. Well, but maybe that's just the way they're breaking it down for the song. Of course, of course. Not. They wouldn't be pronounced like that naturally, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. But, but I was going to say that it's it really, to me, the concept... I like, want to see what he means. Go ahead. It means the man I couldn't be. Oh. No, I have no idea. Oh, no. I, I don't but know. that's kind of the story of the song, right? The man, the man that I am not and that he is, yet I still can love you better. That's kind of the that's argument right, that's he's right. trying to make. Uh, th those yeah. type of concepts have always intrigued me all throughout my life because... A lot of people, well, not a lot of people, just I guess in general. Um, in the meantime, Pasamantala, that's what it means. Ah, so maybe the argument here is going to be, I mean, not the argument, but he, the, the lyrics is going to be, even though I may not have the riches, the wealth that this other person has, in the meantime... I can still love you better. Or maybe I'm, I don't have those things yet. yet. In the mm. meantime, I have love to give. Oh, fair enough. Maybe I love predicting this stuff. Pas ah, pansamantala. Ah, pasamantala. Pasamantala. Pansamantala. Pansamantala. Okay, pansamantala. Oh, cool. It's an adjective. The temporary pansamantala. Yeah. How would you conjugate? Improvised. Makeshift. You makeshift. could also translate into a makeshift. Anyways, well, there you go. Um, that's what I think. But anyway, so that concept of sort of love in the premise of love in the presence of uh, love. In the... Love is the only thing present in the midst of the lack of everything else. Kind of. I don't, I don't think that's very well in the, worded. In the, in the like, okay. Yes. In the midst of nothingness. That's what I can offer you. Love. love in the midst of nothing, right. nothingness. Okay. That concept. But it's not nothingless. It's not nothingless. No, but he comes. He's saying, he's saying yet. It's in the midst. No, he hasn't said yet. No, but I mean, but like I think that's what he, it it goes it goes into words. Is they. And the name of the song is makeshift because it says makeshift. your makeshift pillow like, when you're in in a rough patch. Like he will make that stuff for you. Like because of love, those are the things that are ignited. No, he's saying I can be your temporary uh, temple, safe haven, painkiller through love. 
gosh. Yeah. Why are you so deep? I don't know. I'm just My saying. My God. Because that's what he's saying, right? Help me. Help Your makeshift me. pillow when you're in a rough patch. He's not saying that I am, but that's kind of what love represents, right? Go on, let's keep going. Right, right. But I, I was just saying that that concept really intrigues me because that's essentially what the ultimate meaning of love is. Everything but, in the midst of nothing. Exactly. Hope. Yeah. Yes. But at the same time, as 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 a world, really, as as a, <laughs> you okay? Mm-hmm. What happened? The cup is broken and it dribbled all over myself. So. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but you just spill the coffee. Um. Oh, I've lost it. <laughs> I fucking lost it. Anyways, go on. Okay. Oh, I got it back. <laughs> <laughs> just press play, just press play. Press play, no one cares anyways, bro. <laughs> no one cares anyways. Yeah. Who needs a hopeless romantic? <laughs> Not a hopeless romantic. <laughs> Paño, paño is still the same. Pañuelos. Imagine having to love somebody that much, even though you know you're not good enough for them. That you become the temporary mischief. And that you're okay with it. So he's tried to push himself away. Oh, he got friend zoned. Damn. He got friend zoned. That's what it is. Damn, that's what it is. Yeah, he doesn't have all these things that her lover, the man she loves the most, has. But she always goes back to him as a friend, I think. Uh, I think I, I think that's what it is. I'm, I'm sure in the comments someone will let us know. Inside. But I think that's what it is. He's falling in love with his best mate, and he, I may not I may not have the looks, I may not have the money, I may not have the thing that the guy that you're falling in love with already has. Um, but I you know I can love you. I'm obviously in love with you. But why is it you always run back to me? I've tried I've tried to not Be allow. Be in the middle, yeah. No, I've tried to not allow you. To allow myself to love you again, yeah. but you always come back to me because they're friends, right? But she doesn't see him as Gosh. a. As what a... do you do in a situation like that in real life? Oh, fuck it out. No, I mean, I mean, no, 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 not you, but I'm like, not you, you as in like personally you, but like you as in like the subject. What would you do? I actually wouldn't know what to do in that situation because I've never been there. Like, I've never loved a woman where um, she loves some someone else. Right. Like, I, I, I've never fallen in love with someone while they're in. In a relationship with somebody else. Yeah, where they're in love with someone else. Right. And, I, it, and if I did, that's kind of fucked. It is. What can you do about it? I think the, the, the wisest thing would be, I know I'm saying it is from like an outside perspective. Yet again, I've never been in that situation either. But I think I would push myself to completely detach myself from that environment whatsoever. Like anything that has to do with them. Right. I don't like. I would. That's what he's forcefully, tried. Yeah. That's what he's tried to do. But I would always... forcefully, you know, remove myself from this. From so you 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 would cut all ties with yeah, this person. Yeah, I would. I you I would lose a friendship, a lifetime of friendship. I would, for sanity. For the sake of your own heart. love life. Yeah. Your heart. Yes, I would. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think that's unwise. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right answer or not. I don't think it is the the wisest answer either. But that's what I would do. Like that. That's. Where I now the question voice. is if it's in this storyline or maybe yeah. if it's a real story tough mate if it's a real Gosh. story I wouldn't wish that upon anyone but these are these are just theories that we're just throwing around here but yes um, and also it can be interpreted in different manners and I'm sure other people when they were going through other different moments of their lives because I think this is quite an old song yeah um, maybe also what happened in the story or what happens most times is they fall in love with the uh, well, in this case the girl whoever the fuck it is and she, their friends, she doesn't have any, she doesn't love anyone yet. And then she falls in love with another guy. Uh-huh. Let's say he's a girl. She falls in love with another guy. Okay. While she's still in the friendship with you, but you're falling in love with her. So then the question is always like, I think, I guess that's what all, all guys kind of want to figure out if they're in this position, right? Mm-hmm. Or I guess girls as well. It's like, 
how do I get myself out of the friend zone? That whole thing from friends, right? It's like, how yeah. do I get myself out of this thing where they only see me as an amicable, friendly uh, uh, person? Support, yeah. Support, mm-hmm. a friendship. They don't see me as a romantic... Uh, relationship. Relationship, yeah. right? And I guess that's probably where the story comes. She's yeah. falling in love with this guy. After they've been together for as friends for Simon. so long. But he yeah. fell in love with her first. <laughs> that's right. That has to account for something, right? Well, again... I would totally cut ties, remove myself, and live in a cocoon. <laughs> in a just in a just world, he should win. He, well, that's the story, right? That's it. That's the ultimate love story. You want, like, hey. you know how many romantic comedies have been written about that? Right. That specific scenario. Don't watch many, so I don't know. Man, yes. I imagine a lot. And then the books, you know, the countless books. Gosh. Well, let us know your stories. What, what did you interpret? I wish everything had a happy ending like what that. What did you interpret from this? And perhaps did you ever experience anything like that? Obviously, don't get too specific, mate, because maybe that person's <laughs> going to read the comments. But, but yeah. yeah. Like, and how did you get past the Evie Gaff gone through that? When this song released, where in your lifetime did this feel? This has like 30 million views, dude. I know. Fuck. Gosh. It's toxic! <laughs> there you go. I think he, that's literally what it is. Gosh, this is a heartbreaking song. Let's see if I'm right. It's a great song. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. <laughs> what a voice! I love that so and that word. Really, really nice um, ah. chord progression. Actually, it's lovely. It's pretty, you know. It's nothing out of the heartbreaking. Or, it's not out of the ordinary, but it's simplistic and heart wrenching enough. I mean, it's fucking brutal. I, what makes the song is certainly the vocalist. Uh huh. Um, does take a world class band though in order to you know encapsulate this uh, type of feeling of of mellow, distraught, and to a certain extent a bit of anger. It's it's just so vulnerable of a piece isn't yeah. it it's like lyrically speaking it's such a vulnerable piece it's what out there name? in the open it's just like here are all are all my wounds and here's for the world to pick at them you know sure. it's such a terribly hard thing to watch at the same time you're so invested i really hope this his didn't name, come from a real place his name is keen okean okay. cipriano i think it's keen cipriano cipriano but yeah, Ooh. let us know more about it, perhaps what they're, what they're up to now and uh, what this song meant to you at the time. 
Um, I think I'm correct. I think the lyrics are pretty obvious. Um, but yeah, or perhaps how you interpreted this song. Let us know your thoughts and goodbye, guys. I hope everyone's enjoying the festivities and uh, Merry Christmas from the family to yours. Happy holidays!